I have two types of fertilizer. One that is white and the other one that is dark. But one is organic, the other one is inorganic. Choice of fertilizer application lies from the farmer's soil. When you did the soil analysis, what did you see in that soil or what were you advised? Sometimes you advised uh, you need to increase the organic matter. Uh, other times you advised you need to increase uh, an NP NPK, you need to, to increase calcium. So that would dictate the fertilizer that you're going to use. And also the stage of growth also is a factor because you cannot use a calcium based fertilizer during planting. So you need to look at your soil analysis and also the stage at which you're applying the fertilizer. In my case today, it's, I'm applying my first fertilizer, which is planting fertilizer or is the first top dress. And I have two types of fertilizer, as you can see with me. I have two types of fertilizer, one that is white and the other one that is, uh, that is dark. A white fertilizer, and the dark fertilizer and i know you are wondering which is what is these fertilizers that i'm, I'm holding they are fertilizers but one is organic the other one is inorganic see the my combination an organic fertilizer and inorganic fertilizer and the reason to why i'm using these two combination of or uh, inorganic and organic fertilizer is because of my soil. My soil is deficient of organic matter. And these hold 70% of organic matter, holds around 17% of nitrogen, and also has NPK uh, at 1% each. This one is inorganic fertilizer with NPK of um, uh, nitrogen 13%, 24 percent phosphorus and 12 percent um, uh, potassium with traces of zinc magnesium oxide and sulfur you see so the reason why I have this combination is because of planting planting at planting like I've always been telling you you need a phosphorus based fertilizer and as you've you've had my all my fertilizers are rich they are for phosphorus percentage of it though this one has low phosphorus this has high phosphorus but with no organic matter this has high organic matter which is uh, 70 percent that is needed for organic matter you can also do manure which is good for your for your crops so this my first mix or this my first fertilizer and specifically it's for um, a planting if you want this you need uh you want to do uh, a combination like the one i'm doing it's subject to soil analysis or how you know your soil better because different farmers know their soil some farmers will prefer doing this alone others will prefer doing this alone but i'm coming with a good combination and i'm going to show you the result this is my onion uh fertilizer and it's the first application of the fertilizer uh, that I'm looking forward to take you through on the process of how to apply fertilizer and the reason that you need to apply this fertilizer. So I'll be mixing the two. Uh, this is a ratio of two is to one. I've used one organic, I've used two uh, for the um, other fertilizers. Um, well, the reason why I've gone for this uh, NPK fertilizer is one, it's not acidic to the soil and it's very compatible to the organic uh, fertilizer that, that I'm using. So it's something that is working well, it's breaded well, and now I'm coming to bread them again so that I can make a good green fertilizer. If you may be in need of a fertilizer plant for your onions or your watermelon, uh, reach out to me. I'm going to leave my number with you. This is my number. Uh, that you see on the screen talk to me so that I can share a good fertilizer plant for you that you need to grow your your onions but this fertilizer plant 
I subject to your soil analysis. I don't like doing uh, guesswork. So you need to give, share with me your soil analysis so that I can be able to give you the best of the best. If this is your first time that you're watching me, kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel and also join to be a member because when you become a member, you support everything that I'm doing and we continue learning together. Bye.